put that back as a 1, run it again. I'm going to have to go into the setup and back out again. There we go. And these are all my people arriving. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn this off. So we can um, see people. There we go. Got a 33 year old lady, and they've just got into that lift there. There's my door closing speed working as it should be. And that's immediately stopped on the first floor. And another thing that I've done is the program running speed is also calculated. Looks for a running speed of 50 to 55 times per second. And it's currently too fast, so it's trying to decrease it. Uh, another thing that I've done is let's go to a floor. These people have selected number eight. Yeah, again, it's learning the big door closing speed because there's a different um, size of door here. And if it's a bit bigger, the display is slightly bigger. And it's going to have to do it again on opening. But once you have the, the value, this is a value three, if you put this value, the which it shows you at the end into the values page then it will store it and it will never ask it will never go through this again so this is really just a a one off process providing you write down the number that is there we go it's got it 88000 it doesn't have to be exact but it's only a delay let's get out what i've also done is I've got lamps above the doors. You can change the color of these, you can change the backgrounds to whatever you want, you can change the down arrow to a green or a red or a down call. I can put, probably put the uh, screen back on. I've made a new version of this. If I put this at value 1 and exit, it gives you a miniaturized display that shows you where all the lifts are and all the calls that are being made. I can see there's one at the ground. Anything in green is moving. Anything in yellow is uh, has stopped. Anything in grey is stopped and inactive, not doing anything. It's difficult to see the colours on this camera. And there we go, we've got a lift now. And you can't really see it that well on the camera, but that is at currently green. If I press F, I can find where all my people are. So, my son is currently out of the building, off site. Fred is currently in lift 2 going up. Uh, this person here is on the 8th floor. Uh, there's some people here. This one is in basement 3 and is waiting to go up. And this one is in lift 4. This person here is on floor 28. I can also request as a person, so let's get this guy on, um, let's get one that's near, this one down here. This person here is on the second floor, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to request this person to come to my floor. So I can do request the floor, so I press R, request which person, this person is 107, there's the person to go where. And I wanted to come to my floor, and I'm currently on the. That's a good question. Am I on the third floor? I think I'm on the third floor. So I press 3. Okay, so now this person is on the second floor and is waiting to go up. Let's exit. There is now a call on the second floor. Ah, that lift's just arrived. Ah, I'm on the eighth floor. <laughs> this person is now on the third floor, so I'm going to request the floor, person 107, and I want him to come up to the eighth floor. Okay, X, X. So now we have a call that's just gone in on the third floor. Let's turn on the full display here. X. Okay. Now we can see exactly what's happening.
lift number four is coming to my floor. Here it comes. The red arrow is on. There's somebody in there. The lift is at the third floor. There should be a floor selection of the eighth. Yes, there is. And up comes lift number three. The up arrow is on. And there's my person. I just got out. When I've finished making the uh, finishing touches, I uh, will make it downloadable so that everybody can see it. You have different configurations. I'll just show you the main features of this. You can have different configurations for different floors. Um, you can have on the, on the ground floor at the moment. We've got an up and a down indicator, which are active all the time. ATT. I'm going to change this. <laughs> um, on the floors, I've just got an up and a down indicator with no floor indicator. You can change that. You can have the floor indicator, the up and down light and this is on floor so the up and the down indicator would only light would only only light when the lift actually arrives on your floor whereas this one the up and the down indicators are active all the time or you can have the up and the down indicator active all the time let's send this lift away there we go, actually we've got one here now that lift is currently on the lower ground three, lower ground two, and it's coming up. So these up and down indicators are active all the time at the moment. Let's go up in this one and look at one of the floors. Let's go to the third floor. On the third floor. Let's get out. Now we've got the same displays but the up and the down indicators are only active when the lift is there but I can change that, I can um, can change it to just two lamps like that these would only light when the lift arrives and shows you which way it's going there we go, we've got one just arrived here 